guys, my name is Coach Shard Longsterborn, Bolt Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a construction update. Now, whoo, this is very exciting. Um, I just came off of recording Knucklesfield Town Run on the second channel. You can go and check that out, it should be up by now. Um, but yeah, I just had to, I had to calm down before recording this because I just came off that rant. But, focusing back on theme parks, construction update, Plopsaland Dipan. Um, construction because we've got some uh, supports that have appeared on site. Uh, from the brand new Time Traveller, the codename Time Traveller, of course, not the official name, of course, but uh, the codename Time Traveller, their Mac Extreme Spinning Roller Coaster coming to the park in 2021, and uh, we've got the first supports on site. Oh, it's very exciting. Um, we're going to share the construction pictures. For those of you who are new to the channel, we're going to share with you uh, the stats surrounding this roller coaster and share with you my thoughts on the experience. So, before we get started, I will be doing a merchandise showcase video in a couple of days' time. So, get your merchandise sent in. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and if you can send it on TikTok, that'd be good as well. With your name and location, I'll probably put out a community post, uh, uh, community post by now. Um, you know, if anyone has already sent some in for the next one, uh, just um, tell me the location again or like, get some final details and stuff like that. Uh, just, uh, just for the video. And uh, for those of you who haven't sent any in, they can send them in. And I'll put the links to the social medias in that community post as well. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the latest construction on this uh, new coaster. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel, friends, family, social media, anywhere on the planet. And guys, make sure you keep... Uh, getting those views up. We're approaching 500,000 views across all our videos and uh, don't forget We've got another video coming today from silver wood theme parks. So you can go and check that out uh, When it's up and for now guys, let's get into talking about the latest construction on pops on Japan's new extreme spinning coaster So firstly for those of you who need some stats on this ride the length is 3018.4 feet a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 55.9 miles per hour with five inversions. Now, of course, we know Time Traveller is just a project name and we know the whole thing will cost 15 million euros, which, to be honest, is not actually a bad price for a Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster with the, the quality that, you know, the coaster's offering. So, of course, as you can see on your screen right now, thanks to Plops for updates for this photo, Outside the height of the ride GCI, the supports are on site. It is white with blue at the bottom and uh, very interesting colour scheme uh, with that. So uh, I can't wait to share with you my thoughts on this epic new coaster. So there we go. That is looking at the latest construction pictures. Obviously there's more from Plops Under Pound which you know we shared with you while we were uh, talking about the statistics on the ride. And then we shared with you the Plops updates image as well. And uh, look at the latest construction. I am very excited about this. I'm not going to lie. I am ecstatic about this. I think this is going to be a fantastic cost of project. I think that, um, you know, Time Travel is a project name for now. So, of course, we are going to get the official name towards the end of the year. Hopefully, around the winter time. And, you know, again, this is going to be very, very interesting because, you know, Time Traveller being the code name gives you a bit, and we know from the early concept tarts, it's got a bit of a steampunk feel to it. Um, we know it's going to cross over parts of the lake. It's going to be a very outstretched layout, so I think this is a welcome addition to the park. And, um, you know, this is going to be one of the top signature roller coasters for the Thrill Seekers at the theme park. I think this is going to be a very, very exciting project. So looking at the latest construction with the supports on site, I will expect, tr expect, expect, uh, I'm going to expand on my thoughts on that and say I expect. <laughs> um, I expect to see track maybe in the next few weeks at best. Um, so around about the October period, we should hopefully see some spectacular construction of track work vertically on the ride. And uh, when the official name and theme gets revealed and the story behind it, I literally cannot wait. I mean, from the con from the concept art, the supports of the track, uh, the support, the color, the support, sorry, uh, look very different. Obviously, with the the white and the light blue at the bottom and around the middle and the top. So. You know, is the track colour going to be the dark blue that we saw in the animation officially released by the park on the ride experience? You know, is it going to be that sort of bluey colour uh, for track? You know, we'll have to see, but I think if it is, then it'd be interesting to see what kind of name and theme and story they go for for this ride, even though it, from the concept art early, you know, it looked very early that we could be seeing like a steampunk theme for this ride. Uh, with the time traveler name, so I think replace the time traveler name, you could have a steampunk ride, but, you know, blue, the light, uh, the light blue and the, the white on the track and supports 
um, I think maybe could hint at some kind of different kind of steampunk. So you know, be, uh, you know, the, the name and the theme and the story ideas are being generated from what we've seen on site, and with the new supports being delivered, and the first supports being delivered to the site, I think that you know it's starting to become interesting in terms of twisting and turning around the uh, the story of what the name's going to be and the theme and the official storyline for the ride. So. Very exciting stuff there, and of course, all information we'll keep you up to date with uh, as soon as we get them. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Theme Park Newsroom here on Coast Shell YouTube channel. We've got more news updates coming very, very soon, including our final one today from Silverwood Theme Park on a brand new teaser about an announcement date, which I cannot wait because I'll be delivering my final predictions on this ride experience. But for now, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.